to the side, like what am I missing? I hit her from the side on one of my visits. She gave me a vibe, it was part of my secrets. It's looking like a demon now. I know you wanna see me now. Wishing you could be me now. I got it, babe. I'm happy to be. Testing, testing to see how this mic works. We're switching things up in today's vlog. So I hope you guys are ready. Period. Hello my loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics and I'm here with you guys today with a new vloggy vlog. So in this vlog, you guys are going to be following me along during the week as I do every and anything. And I am so excited. So before we get into the fun, before we get into the festivities, before we get into the looks, before we get into it all, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that red subscribe button down below and join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up so that YouTube can circulate this video across its platform. Don't forget to drop a comment down below after you have watched this entire video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So you guys saw me get ready to head out and run some errands and also go to my yoga class and i am just trying to switch things up in this vlog so you guys can comment and let me know what you guys think after you guys see all of the changes and things that i'm planning to introduce to my vlogs but i took a little break i took a little break i took a few days off and i just feel so inspired i feel so refreshed and i'm just so happy to create more content and share more content with you guys so i hope you guys didn't miss me too much i updated you guys on my community tab so that you guys were like girl where's the vlog where's the videos where are you you said you ain't taking no breaks i know i know i know but as i mentioned in my last vlog my friends did come from new york to visit me in houston texas and we had a time we had such a great time that i don't have a weekend vlog for you guys i'm gonna be honest so we went out i was lit the whole weekend i had a great time okay when i say a time was had a time was had honey so yeah if you guys follow me on instagram you guys saw snippets of the weekend if you guys don't follow me on instagram Follow me on Instagram at Kinesthetic underscore. And yeah, we had a great time. We were just drinking, having a grand old time. Um, little staycation at the Postal Hotel. And now we are back to regular schedule programming. So today I'm going to run some errands. And then as I mentioned, I have a yoga class this evening. So you guys are going to come along with me. So I'm about to get ready to head out so that I'm not rushing too much. But I do want to get my car washed. I need to stop at the bank and I also want to stop at Trader Joe's so hopefully we can get it all done before my yoga class. If not, I'm just going to complete the things I don't get done today on Thursday. So yeah, let's go ahead and head to our first stop. It is 100 degrees outside. Pass that shit up. And I have a full tank of gas thanks to my sis tabs for my tank before she left. So, yeah, let's head out. You guys know me. I'm going to put on my tunes. Sean, your body is mine. I'm coming. I'm coming. You. Communication, I ever think when she finally get caught back. 
So I'm heading to the car wash first and there's so much traffic so I hope I make it in time because the car wash closes at 6. But yeah, we went to dinner on Sunday night at Joey's Uptown and I put my car in valet and I don't be trusting people with Stormy, okay? Like literally the first person to drive Stormy besides me and like, you know, service people when I go get oil changes, whatever, whatever was tabs and i trust tabs because i've been driving with tabs for years i know she's a great driver so put my car in valet in joey's and the guy adjusted my seat first of all you had to drive the car you had to drive the car point zero zero two five miles like literally straight up reverse why are you adjusting my seat and then on top of that, he adjusted my mirror. Like, my stuff is in a certain way, and I don't, like, it was customized when I first came in my car. So I shouldn't have to readjust things, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I'm heading to the car wash. Currently 15 minutes away. Hopefully they take me and Stormy, because Stormy needs a car wash. Bad, 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 bad. So, yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a few. Um, why did I think I had a complimentary car wash here and it was a different location so I had to end up paying for a car wash which wasn't in my budget but it's okay because I needed it so yeah also tell me why I realized that I left my yoga mat at home so I don't know if I'm going to yoga today we'll see Me a hundred bands, but still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. Fast up, extend up. I carry bitches like a purple. He wanna fuck, but he gotta be a millionaire. Ain't no deal. Like, shouldn't have to ask. Don't gotta beg. Your Miami new designer bag. Car paper. All these bitches mad, but they can kiss my ass out in the name. ended up picking up way more than I expected but it's okay I'll share everything that I purchased with you guys when I get home I did pick up some new things to try so you know we love trying new things but I got these to snack on as I had to my class I used to get these all the time when I lived in New York and I haven't got them in a minute so I said let me just try them again mmm 
I feel like these are a dupe for my outstanding foods, um, hella hot um, snacks. I forgot the real name of it, but if you know, you know. These are $2.99, and the outstanding foods are now $4.49. So, yeah. Oh, and I also got my Peter Crackers that they used to get real high off a half a pill. You know? I remember to get my Peter Crackers this time, so. Uh, Did it, but I know he did not. But you need OJ money when you tryna get a quick pressure and trust me, me a dying. I just tryna feel as we crush. I used to ride on the train, I used to Okay, so your girl is home. Yoga was great and I'm happy that I got everything done today that I wanted to do. So now I want to share my Trader Joe's haul with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first up, I got another pack of my pita crackers. So this is a pack of crackers that I got to make up for them. Charged me two times by accident. So I love these in case you guys haven't seen my vlogs or you guys missed the vlog. I love using these with hummus, the garlic, the roasted garlic. Let me show y'all. Boom. These crackers. The ones with the whole wheat and black seed, and then this hummus from Trader Joe's. Like, I have another one in the fridge, but best snack, like, in love. I got pizza crackers. Oh, I had these in the car. I had brought these to the airport in case my friends wanted a snack. I got chili sauce because I have been in love with making my sweet chili chicken, and this is a chili sauce that I use to make that. I have in my insulated grocery bag, which can be found in my Amazon storefront link down below. So let's go ahead and get into it. I was happy I had this in the bag because I, since I went to yoga, I was able to store these in this bag so that they didn't get like too bad. But I got this pizza to try from Trader Joe's. This is a vegan meatless meat eaters pizza. In the store, it said to pair this with uh the vegan ranch sauce from trader joe's but the location i went to didn't have that sauce so i'm gonna see if i could find that sauce from another location but i got that i got more of these i have to show you guys in this vlog remind me or i'm gonna remind myself to show you guys the dessert that i make with these fire like fire i got this because i used to be obsessed with this this is a penne arabiata but it's like a quick meal and I can just like throw some chicken in the air fryer, put it in and boom, set. I got some spinach so that I can make salads. And then I got ooh, two packs of chicken breasts from Trader Joe's. I like the chicken that I got from them the last time. So I had to run it back. It is a little bit more expensive, but I feel like it tastes fresher, if that makes sense. And then 
then last but not least, I got this vegan creamy dill dressing to try. As I told you guys, I plan on making salads. This has cauliflower, almond butter, garlic, and it also has cold pressed lemon juice, herbs, and shallots. So I'll definitely let you guys know what I think of this. But that is everything that I picked up from Trader Joe's. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul. Um, I'm about to wipe everything down and put it away. And for dinner tonight, I'm having leftovers. I made some sweet chili chicken on Sunday. So I'm gonna warm that up with some rice and broccoli. Nice, healthy dinner. And just relax for the rest of the evening. So, yeah. I'm scratching my nipple. Ooh, nice, look, honey. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's so much better. Hey guys, it's the next day. It is currently Wednesday, June the 21st, and I have been working all day. It's like 5 p.m. now, oh, almost five. No, almost four. So I do have a therapy session today. So I'm getting ready because my therapy sessions are via video chat. So I just like to look presentable. And also I did put on my gym clothes because i'm really tired so i figured if i put my gym clothes on i would be like you know inspired or have that push to make sure i make it to the gym once i am done with therapy and things that i have to take care of at home so i'm just putting my hair in a bun another day another bun because i still haven't found the time to wash my hair yet so I'm just doing like a sloppy bun, nothing too serious. I'm not even putting more gel in my hair because I need to wash it. This will do the job. So yeah, I just wanted to make myself, myself look present. But I'm gonna put on some deodorants and some perfume just to make myself feel better. Well, deodorant is essential for the gym. Fragrance is to make myself feel better. So, just putting this on. My deodorant is almost done, as you guys can see, like literally hanging on its last leg. So, I have to re up or try a new deodorant. I kind of want to try a new one because this one is cool, but once I sweat, which I do, especially in 100 degree weather every day in Texas, it like creates a residue on my clothes and I don't like that. My gym set is coming from, my gym set is coming from Forever 21. I purchased it a while ago, but here it is. I literally, I literally wear the same gym clothes all the time because I wash my clothes like twice throughout the week. So yeah, for fragrance, I'm gonna put on something light. I'm gonna put on this nest turkish rose perfume oil i have been loving this it's like a light everyday scent for like the spring and summer i have the travel size but i definitely want to get the full size and i definitely had homework to do for therapy and i still haven't done it so i'm about to go do it real quick Ooh. so let's go do our homework and then we're gonna have therapy
kind of thick. And garlic powder. And yes, I like to get some of my seasonings from Target because it's inexpensive, okay? So don't be scared to go to Target to get your seasonings now. So I do that and then I flip Miss Mama's over to the other side and we do the same thing all over again, honey. Over again. And then I like to massage it in. Make sure you get like in between so that I can, you know, sit in and ooh, ah, do that thing. Ooh, ah, do that thing. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look how flavorful that looks already. So these are the Ziploc bags I like to use to put my chicken in the freezer. These are. Um, I'm trying to see the size. It just says freezer quart slider bags. So yeah, I'll have these linked down below because they were purchased from Amazon for me. So I like to put each chicken breast in an individual. Let's see. I'll make that one tonight. And for dinner tonight, I think I'm just gonna make a chicken salad. That's what I'm feeling like. Ooh, I might make wraps just because I wanna use my wraps before they go bad. So we'll see. I just bag these up, put them in the freezer, and then I'm gonna cover this with foil so I can make this later. Your girl's back home from the gym. Quick little groceries haul. I stopped at HEB on my way home. So I got some bagels so I can have for breakfast. For cream cheese, that's my go-to. I got some bananas so that I can start making my protein smoothies again because the girls need to be thick, okay? The girls need to be real thick. So I got these. I got some great tomatoes so that I could put in my salad or wrap whatever I decide to make. A cucumber for when I make salads. A jalapeno pepper for if I make tacos. If I want to put it in a wrap or whatever the case is. And that is basically it. So I like to get dinner going before I shower and unwind and stuff. Because I know myself too well. Once I get comfortable, I don't want to do another thing. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and fry my chicken. Or I don't even know if I'm making wraps or salad. Let me see when these wraps expire. Wraps expire. What did I buy these? What's today's date? Were these expired when I ate them? Y'all think it's gonna hurt my stomach? What is it? H-O, is it bye-bye? Let me smell it. Girl, they smell fine to me. We make it wraps. Okay, nothing goes wasted in this house though. So I have my chicken breast that I seasoned earlier. Nice and marinated for a couple of hours. It is raining so hard outside. I don't know if y'all can hear it. My lights started flashing while I was eating. I'm like, let me hurry up so I can go take a shower just in case anything go on, okay? I'm buying my meal. <laughs> Finally be in my house and I have to hide the updates, okay? But today is Thursday, June the 21st, I think. And I just got the grass in my backyard cut. I wish I showed y'all the before because it was like a real crazy backyard. Okay, that shit was tall. But we love some shaped grass. Okay, freshy shaped grass. I have a little dilemma in my house. It's always something like, I'm telling y'all right now, I'm gonna do a video all about it. But being a homeowner is accepting the fact that it's always going to be something. And I learned that the hard way. So I'm here taking these L's so that y'all can take these W's, okay? Being a homeowner, there's always something. So I woke up this morning and the answer back. But the answer not back in the pantry, okay? The pantry is good, okay? She over here, she's good. The ants are back in my um in my master suite. Not really my bedroom, but really my bathroom. <sighs> Basically. What happened is, you guys remember I did my floors in my bedroom when I first moved in. But I didn't do my floors in my bathroom. I only did my bedroom. So basically, when he did the floors in my bedroom over, he had to lift up this, um, damn, I forgot what this is called. The threshold. He had to lift that up and basically, like, he replaced it. So when he replaced it, the threshold that he put in is, like, too short for this gap so basically you guys see like these little holes so the ants are coming from here but my caulk gun does not allow me to get in there like i was able to caulk this you guys see the difference because my caulk is a mess but i caulk with this and i caulk this side but i still have to caulk like this i have to go to home depot to get something to caulk that i should take a picture to bring with me quick fast and in a hurry yes right. Let me get started then. So, what is your first name, please? Down to a size, right? Yeah. You know, I know what I'm doing a little bit. Sounds like more just a little bit to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, how many companies have you called today? Two before you. 
Why, why did you take them up on their own? I did not take them up. They um sent me like the details of, of my options, so I didn't look through it yet. I just wanted to get like, you know, a sense of what's out there, like pricing and service wise and see what works best or makes the most sense. And everything you just said makes a whole lot of sense to me. Yeah. So uh do you own this house? Yes I do. Uh the spider is also Issue, or is it just? I know you said you just don't like test period, so yeah. I didn't look at the spiders too closely, so I can't tell you how they look. Yeah, they're, they're just different types of ants. So you have the older, older silence ants, you have the acrobat ant. Uh, it's like about 100 different species, especially in that part of the country. Um. Uh, that would get in and invest in the house, they get inside of the walls, which makes it difficult to deal with them because once they get inside like that. They populate and they treat the house like as if they were underground. Oh, hell no. Like they had a colony. So what do y'all do? And, uh, there could be literally thousands of them. What? Okay. Yeah, hundreds. Now, it depends on, depends on the size of the colony. It depends on how long they've been there. Well, I've been doing this for over 30 years. Oh, wow. So, so I've got, yeah, I've got a I can get you in on Monday between 8 and 10 or uh, 10 and 12. I don't have anything available for the rest of this week. Oh, damn. Y'all booked up. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'm, busy. I'm trying real busy. to. Uh, we keep you on for life. We never want to let you go. As far as I don't have to pay y'all again? <laughs> what you mean you keep me on for life? <laughs> So I want to make sure, right? I, I'm doing y'all job, so I need a little bit of a discount. <laughs> but I just want to make sure that somewhere between the plan, like they're coming in and actually, like, um, you know, fixing what could where it could be entering inside the house. Yeah. Now, as long as it's something that's not bigger than a dime to a quarter, then you know, then we could do some mitigation for that. If it's something bigger than that, because Mm -hmm. uh, then we will let you know like this is not something that we can deal with but something like what you're talking about I, you know obviously one of the things that we do like me you were talking okay the orchid pro when they come out there talk to them because oh. we don't live there you know what I'm saying yeah we can do our due diligence as far as doing our inspection but we really our approach is that this is a partnership mm -hmm. okay we know what products to use you live there you see them Mm -hmm. And you can identify for us, like, you know, last time you guys were here, uh, you sprayed, you did what you did, and now I'm seeing them here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, by identifying that, then that allows us to concentrate our energy in those particular locations that you say that you see them in. Mm -hmm. That gives that gives everybody, makes everybody happy, because that means that now a guy can target the area, uh, make you happy. In terms of treating it and then seeing a reduction or elimination about on that particular pest. Mm -hmm. Okay? And mm -hmm. if you see things, you know, like they say, if you see something, say something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That works for the worker. You see something, say something. Mm -hmm. So we don't, like I said, we don't live there. Mm -hmm. We know how to apply the product yeah. you know, based on the biology of the insect. Uh -huh. But some of the areas we may be treating may not be the actual target area. Right. So yeah, yeah. Tell us, tell us what's going on. It's a partnership. Okay. You know, nobody, so. nobody get, you know, nobody's so smart that they can't listen to what somebody has to say. Right. You ain't that bright. You know what I mean? Right. And do they look for like any so, other holes that I may not see? Like I can't see behind my washer and dryer. So, like, what would they do? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, they'll, that's yeah. They'll check any all the places. Like I so said, all the places where you have where there's water. Mm hmm. Those are the places that are going to be checking. Okay. Yeah. yeah, because those are the areas, again, going back to science, we use the biology of the particular pest that we're treating. We use the biology, we use that against them. Okay? Yeah. So we don't have that situation. Right. That makes, every, that makes everything good because we want, our thing is that to make you happy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're serving, we're servicing your residents to get this thing to a point.
point where you, you know, where you have to say, hey, you guys are doing a good job. Yeah. We like a nice pat on the back. Right. You know. All right. That we, the more, the, the better job we do, the happy you be, the happy you are, the better we are. Yeah. So after the seven treatments, it's expected that the problem is resolved, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you want to do the Monday between eight and ten, or you want to do the ten to twelve? Um. Let me think. Monday is the twenty-six. You and see? I have an afternoon if you're not available in the morning. Um. I could do the morning. The morning. You yeah. want the you want the which one? Uh, the guy that's coming. His name is. Carl. I like the way. That, I, I really I like talking with people like you because you ask questions. Right, I ask a lot of questions. I'm looking him up I, online I, right I, now. I, I'm doing my homework. I know you are. Okay. <laughs> That's why you're asking all these questions. Right. You make it. You taking notes and you taking notes and everything. I mm -hmm. know that. Okay, so I'll wait for you guys to come on but Monday I, and see what y'all working with. Him. Yes, we are. We're gonna get oh, these ants out of here. I, I did. I did have one other thing I needed to ask you. Did you want to add an email address to this? Yeah, you could put... Um, uh, it's a person talking to you. I like this. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Well, Kendra, thank you very much. Um, we will see you on Monday at 6.26. We'll meet between 8 and 10. Okay, and thank you. last time before we go, do you have any other questions? Um, Not right now. What was your name again? Oh yeah, it's been it's been it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Oh boy, I told y'all when you are a homeowner, there's always something. So apparently, as you guys heard from the conversation, there are thousands of ants in the walls of my home. <laughs> At this point, just take the house, pay the bills, pay the mortgage, do everything since y'all want to be all up in here. <laughs> so yeah, I had to get pest control service to come deal with these ants because they're going to keep finding entryways into Casa Kinesthetic. So, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> I cannot even begin to think about it because it's going to make my skin crawl. So I'm going to just wait for them to come on Monday and hopefully get the job done. So, yeah, more money I wasn't expecting to spend. Y'all see what I'm saying? Like, it just be money after money after money after money after money after adulting after adulting after homeowner after homeowner. Like, being a homeowner is cool. But I guess, honestly, I thought certain things were optional. But it's like, nah, you really got to pay for this. Like, you can't be cheap. You can't cut corners. You really have to pay for this. And nobody going to pay for it for you. So, yeah, I still have that to say. I need a sugar daddy. So, if y'all have any recommendations, just let me know. Just let me know. Just let me know. Because at this point, girl, I don't even know anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just leaving it to God. And I'm going to allow him to shower me with blessings, however he feels needed. But, yeah, I have a call for work. So, I'll be back. <sighs> okay, here. Yeah. Let me put my AC on because... I've been putting my AC on and then off and then off and then on. Okay, so yeah, I had to pay for, or I had to schedule for pest control to come out here. I just Googled best pest control near me. Um, because I saw my neighbors use a pest control the other day. And you guys know the truck comes with the name on it. And I called them and they were like, oh, do you want a one-time service or do you want a monthly service but then when i called this guy my guy anthony he said no one time i'm gonna do it you need consistent treatment so that you could get rid of them so i'm gonna listen to anthony okay i'm gonna listen to anthony because anthony says i am true to this i'm not new to this i've been doing this for 30 years i bet heard you bro so yeah i just want them gone honestly like i can't live like this i just want to live a nice peaceful life and they fucking up my shit, okay? So, that's what's going on today. Got my grass cut in my backyard. I'll probably spray around my house with this, um, like, uh, where did I buy? I went from Amazon. I'm not sure if it really works. It's not going to work as much as pest control, but it'll do, I guess, like, you know, enough for me to sit on my patio and actually enjoy it versus being attacked by bugs. So, yeah. 
I'm going to spray around my house. Today's Thursday, which means I have a yoga class. And I also schedule for another class before yoga. It's kind of like a circuit class. So the I don't know if it's going to be the same way. So basically, my yoga instructor says she's teaching it this Thursday. So I was just like, I'll sign up and go because I really like her. Like, she's so patient and she's so motivating. She just, you could tell she genuinely cares about what she's doing and helping people, you know, just feel good about working out whether they look stupid or not i can't believe i had to pay these people i'm here thinking i could combat a whole colony of ants girl no you are not a freaking exterminator you are an accountant so and i put my pre-poo treatment in my hair i was gonna wash my hair but i'll wash my hair once i get back from yoga i'll just put my hair in like a cute low bun and Call it a day so yeah that's what's going on i tried to upload a vlog i even forgot that i was trying to upload a vlog because it's just been a lot going on today so yeah mm -hmm. would y'all watch the video at 6 p.m comment and let me know because sometimes i'll be in my head like girl you are uploading too late but i told myself that if my video from yesterday my weekly vlog that i uploaded <laughs> days late that if it got to 500 views in 24 hours, I will upload another video today. And it absolutely did because y'all are the best and y'all rock with me. And y'all be tuned in and y'all be tapped in and y'all be holding it down for your girls. So I said I should bless them with another vlog today. So it's like, do I upload a video at 6 p.m.? Or do I upload a video on Friday? I hate uploading late, but I also hate uploading on Fridays. So <sighs> hey guys, I'm home now. Say hi, Kim. Hey y'all. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> but i'm about to make dinner for dinner tonight i'm making some rasta pasta with no dairy and i'm adding chicken so stay tuned for the recipe yeah. Yeah. i had 200 for lunch that's not i put on the cunt no 24 shows in a month look at that time it was crunch that means this crush. You eat me, but my t shirt is tough. Yeah. Cold as a slash. Belly rinse, so I'm sipping a test. Go get it, I must. Fuck up, good enough, pussy, no must. Love and I lust. My crew lawyer, we trusted in us. Yeah. Money need up. Cause they shit out, they come in the money. Yeah. Look at that glitz. See what I mean. You gotta be basic. You pink and green. Fuck on the neck. What's on the screen? Cross on the car, do you care for the dreams? Feel like a plug, keep a trick on my sleeve. I'm cool, know you drunk, cause I don't want to flee. I'm smoking it, gotta get, don't gotta see. Been in the roof, and I can feel the breeze. Pockets got nachos, that's some chili cheese. Smoke in July, I'm got me feeling knees. My car that rolling for my oldest knees. I drop a hit, I'm knowing what they need. I check out the motor, gotta have some speed. Do it by focus, I can see the feed. Cash running over, I can feel the greed. I had 200 for lunch. That's not I put on the cunt. 24 shows in a month. Good day that time it was crunch. Ice, that means it's crunch. Do you but my t shirt is tough? Yeah, cold as a slush. Belly rinse, so I'm sipping a test. Go get it, I must. Fuck up, good enough, pussy, no must. Love and I lust. My crew lawyer, we trusted in us. Yeah, when they need up. Get this shit out, they come in the mud. When they got rich out the ground in the mud I'm riding the roads and the meek is a road Now I'm pushing the trunk is a hood Told the car to come and sit on this wood Neighborhood truck used to cap off a jug Fuck the net net in the back of the hood I never read and keep that understood Ain't going backwards, I don't think I could These like be trapping rappers like they should Got hills in the back, bitch, I feel like it's good They naked in payment, held down by my foot Been patiently waiting, wish a nigga would Just drop a location, my niggas are done I got a old bitch, can't wait for me to school Just picked up 200, don't hit it I had 200 for lunch. That's not I fought on the cunt. 24 shows in a month. Look at that time it was crunch. Ice, dumb as this crunch. Will he be but my t shirt is tough? Hung up the phone at night Could already tell That you come here home intoxicated Ooh, So you better take your time Me so I remember last time You wouldn't make love to me Then you fell fast
Today's a sad day in the neighborhood because I ran out of my favorite gel that I use for my wash and goes. I use another gel and I'm not in love. Like I could tell when a wash and go is about to hit depending on how the curls look before they dry. And mm-mm, mm-mm. So I think once my hair dries, I'm just gonna put it in a puff because I don't have time to be looking crazy, especially in this Houston humidity. But yo, I finished my favorite gel. And if you know you know it's not a job, is just walk in the store and buy. It's not a gel that I could just walk in the store and buy. So at this point, I kinda have to find a new gel, y'all. This? It's not gonna slap the way that the other gels are. If y'all have been seeing my recent wash and go, you guys know my hair has been slapping. This is not giving that at all. So yeah, I'm sad. But I told Kim, I was like, go to my favorite beauty supplies on the hood. Get me two, and I'll send you the money. And I'll get it when I buy two. Because this, like, I feel like my hair is going to come out big. I may or may not like it, but the curls won't be as defined. So, yeah. But happy Friday. Today is Friday, June the 23rd. So happy Friday. I uploaded a moving vlog today. And you guys are going to see this video on Sunday. So my plan for today is to work on content for next week. So yeah, that requires me to do my makeup. I have not done makeup since last weekend. So it's a very big thing, okay? But I'm trying to remain productive, get things done. I'm about to have some leftovers for lunch. My pasta came out fire. The only thing I will say is I put too much jerk sauce in the, when I was making the sauce. So yeah, but other than that, it came out fire. So Make sure y'all try it out. Make your sauce from scratch, okay? Who said that chicken alfredo or rasta pasta has to be a basic meal? Make the sauce from scratch and I promise you, people will be licking their fingers. Yeah. Young Thug's new album. In case y'all don't know, I I wouldn't say I'm a huge young, young Thug fan, but I love his music. So y'all should already know I'm tuned in and I love it so far. So make sure you guys stream Business is Business, period by Young Thug. And as in my makeup, as you guys can see, my hair didn't come out as bad as I thought it would. So I'll leave it down for the day. But you guys can see like my wash and go is not as defined. As it usually comes out with the other gel that I was using. So, yeah. But my makeup came out cute. I recorded a reel of my lip combo too. You know, trying to get back into the rhythm of things. And now I'm about to do up my little makeup station. You guys always ask me about this mirror. And I link it for you guys all the time, but I'm gonna tell y'all again because y'all need this. This is my travel mirror, but this is what I used to do my makeup when I'm in my office space. And you guys seen it in the clip, so I was like, let me go ahead and mention it. But this is a impressions mirror and it has two different light settings. It is rechargeable. Love this for traveling and just doing my makeup wherever I don't have like you know a mirror set up so this is linked in my Amazon store under makeup or travel but I'll put the link down below so you guys can pick this up because it is a necessity okay it's by the brand impressions it does have a kickstand so we could like stand up on your desk or your table absolutely love absolutely recommend I actually got that I got this mirror as a gift from my girl Stishy she know me so well we love a productive gift. You know what I'm saying? So I have my whole to-do list here. I am about to record a video for YouTube. Started. So let me go ahead and get this done. And I will check in with you guys once I'm done. But I'm just trying to check off everything on like my weekly to-do list. So anything that I miss from like Monday to Thursday, I'm trying to check those things off so that this weekend I can start off with a fresh to-do list and, you know, keep the ball rolling. So... Yeah. I'll see you guys in a few. Soft skin filter. Who? Soft skin filter. Where? Okay, this skin is raw and uncut. Period. Good morning. Today is Saturday, June the twenty fourth. I just decided to, you know, wake up and be in my bag a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. 
So today is Saturday and I just woke up not so long ago. I put on a little outfit, girl. I put on a little outfit, little halter top. This is from American Apparel. I don't know if they even still sell this. My top is falling. Titties are crooked. <laughs> but I got this top when I was like in high school. I went to the high school fashion industry, so American Apparel was I would go to. I still have all my pieces because girl, American Apparel was not cheap, okay? American Apparel gives me like what Urban Sea is nowadays for us. But either way, American Apparel top and Eric Emanuel shorts. This was his collaboration with McDonald's. So you see the French stripe on the bottom. And then I just put my hair in this bun because the humidity in Houston is no joke. Okay, it's no joke. So today is Saturday, the last day of the vlog. Today I plan on editing this vlog. I have not started editing yet. So I'm about to start. I have my morning coffee to wake me up. And this evening, I am going to a birthday celebration for my girl Janae, who lives out here in Houston. So, that's basically what I'm gonna get into today. I do want to hit the gym because I'm at three. I'm at three or five. So today's four, and tomorrow's five. So gym today, gym tomorrow, and then um, what else did I want to do today? I want to cook something before I head out. Like I'll cook something around lunchtime. I just put some chicken out to defrost, so we'll cook together. And I'm not sure if I'll go to the grocery store because I hate going to the grocery store on weekends if I'm not their first customer because it'd be too packed. It can't, it'd just be too much. So I don't know if I'm going to go to the grocery store, but I do need some more iced coffee because I just done it. And I think that's it. So I'll be back a little later. Just wanted to happen and say good morning. Show you guys my fresh robes in, okay? Filter who filter we are. We are accepting all of our imperfections and we are still beautiful period so also thank you guys so much for the love and support on the videos i uploaded this week this week was tough for me okay it was a lot going on emotionally professionally it was just a lot going on this week so you guys probably felt the energy through this vlog for my people who are like you know energy based but i pushed through i gave y'all two videos i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah you guys can finally see my new not my new space, but like the updates in my space because I've been trying to vlog around it. Y'all probably, if y'all nosy like me, y'all probably peeped it in my last vlog. But I showed you guys everything that I have worked on so far and I have some projects coming up. So I'm really happy about that. More stuff coming in the mail. So the next book of vlog should be up in the first half of the month of July. So we'll see. But yeah, let me get to editing. So y'all can have a vlog for tomorrow and I'll see you guys later. Not me. A shorter time for me to go to a further away gym than a closer gym so basically I'm going to a different gym that I usually go to I'm going to a different gym than the gym that I usually go to on the weekends so I hope it's not packed but also I'm excited because I curated a new workout playlist so if you know me you know I love music I'll put the playlist down below if it's not down below y'all know just let me know in the comments and I'll put the link cuz I just be forgetting baby my brain be in so many different places but this playlist First of all, it starts off with my current favorite song at the moment, which is Peaches and Eggplants by Young Nudie and 21 Savage. This song, give my brother some bend over, come rob me like a rope. 21 Savage really walked on this song. Like His verse, it just made him seem clean to me because I always looked at 21 Savage like, ugh, ugh. You know he had a little dirt to him, but this verse cleaned him up real fucking quick. Cool. 
Cause I do not need my car being steamy hot in this hundred degree weather. Key to parking, go in the shade. And oh, my battery's dying. But this gym <laughs> be having a little niggas in here. Okay, I be leaking. I be leaking. I don't be leaking too much, but I be leaking a little bit. Fresh battery. Ooh. Cold water. Everything else I need in here. How many whoops I got? But yeah, this gym be having some decent looking bags. I'm like, okay. But the thing here is, I don't be knowing. Like, sometimes if I'm curious, I just don't want to know. Like, if I'm like, are you interested in men or women? I don't want to know. Because, well, I got to question it. Yeah, let me go in here and get my workout and I'll record if it's not too packed. you guys have seen me wear this top time and time again so if you guys are looking for basics for your wardrobe I highly recommend this top shorts are coming from zara they are old okay booty is x sneakers i'm wearing my jordan threes these are the reimagined threes um sunglasses are marnie i purchased these a while ago i'll see if i can find a link and put them down below but they real cute bag is my louis vuitton uh, vanity pm bag just because it was out and i'm in a rush so real cute real basic giving like you know barbecue vibes summer vibes and i love it so okay but i'll see you guys outside i'm going to vlog on my phone so yeah we outside and i did a cute little makeup look real quick real cute i did record it for instagram and tiktok so you guys can make sure you follow me there so y'all can see no foundation, just concealer, and then I refresh my bun. So yeah, she looks real good. She smells real good too. I have one C by Giorgio Armani, one of my faves. Shorts are eating up my coochie. <laughs> I don't know why I continue to put denim shorts on. It happens each and every time. Every time. I've came to the conclusion and I diagnosed myself that I'm a I'm just a fat poom poom gal. <laughs> like that's all it is. I am not fit for denim shorts. Denim shorts are not fit for me. We do not go together. Not real bad, not at all. Okay? This is crazy. Like Shorts unbuttoned and coochie still being ate the freak up like right in the middle. So yeah, pray for me today. It's a hundred. My car says it's 101 degrees outside right now. So yeah, mm -hmm. 
101 degrees poom poom being swallowed by denim shorts and um my edges is coming up already so yeah glasses so much <laughs> but i only like them when my hair is like pull back i don't like them when my hair is down you have to have certain hairstyles for certain things you know what i'm saying this is my current favorite filter it's called follow by victoria can y'all see follow by victoria bonia so, so i basically drove to fatima's house and then we're gonna carpool to the barbecue so yeah, I'm leaving Stormy here. I'm not gonna drink because it's a hundred, like literally. Oh wait. Hey girl. Yeah, you want that? I'm about to come. Why well, I take this picture by mistake? <laughs> it is 97 degrees. It says it feels like 107. So yeah, I'm not drinking. Got my shoes on my face, my pockets full of faces. Tell me what the day is. Happy birthday, Chene. So it is currently 11.36 and I just got home. I'm about to make something to eat, y'all. <laughs> I had some wings there and they were cool, but I just want some of my chicken. So I'm about to cook real quick. Y'all yeah, probably like, girl, cooking at 11.30, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I made my pasta from Trader Joe's, the penne arrabbiata. I also made my award-winning fried chicken. You know, you gotta soak the oil up. I made some fried chicken. To enjoy a live demo, the crunch. Like. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. I'll probably come back on camera to make dessert with you guys. I'll see how I feel, but time check, 12.17. That food, oh my God, I thought I paused it. Currently watching my girl Jasmine's vlog, Jasmine Arzell, she looks so good, okay? Make sure y'all tune into her videos. <laughs> but yeah, the food looks great. I'm about to have one of these. I know I told you guys I would show you the dessert I like to make with these, but it includes alcohol and i'm not drinking alcohol at 12 38 a.m so i'll show you guys in the next vlog but i'm gonna end the vlog right here so if you guys made it all the way until the end comment down below with a ice pop emoji <laughs> so i know who my girls and my boys who made it all the way until the end of this video are 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I've been trying to push out content for you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying the consistency because it is here to stay, period. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I will link all of the items mentioned in today's video down below in case you guys are interested. Especially them sunglasses that I wore today because I got so many compliments on them. And I'm like, wow, I bought these years ago. And this is like my first time wearing them like outside. So I'll have the links for everything down below. So make sure you guys check the description box. If you guys don't see a link, just comment. And I will be sure to let you guys know if I add the link or if it's just not available. So just comment and let me know. Um, comment and let me know what your favorite part of this vlog was. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, comment. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Say what I wanna get, cause you know it's gonna get me here. Every time I say that I'm